Welcome to The Pulse. You're watching Up to Speed, where we catch up to the world of gaming and esports. Today, we're going to take a look at World of Tanks, one of the most popular games in the world today. 55 million users strong, with 1.3 players playing probably right now. I mean, that was a peak concurrent here pretty a uh, little while ago, the GDC Wargaming.net officially announced that. But today we're going to talk about what the game is, the history of World of Tanks, and have some fun with some team members from Fulcrum Gaming. First off, the history of World of Tanks. This was a game developed from Belarus, and it does have a freemium-based model. That means this game is free to play, but you can also purchase some gold, which helps accelerate your uh, experience gaining and also buying some premium tanks that you can use on the PvP playset. This game was officially released in April 12th, uh, in April, on April 12, 2008, in Russia, and it grew exponentially, you could say, in Russia itself. It is the most popular country that plays this game. China, as well, is very popular. It has a pretty strong foothold uh, foot in Europe, and North America has been gaining some ground when the game was officially released in 2011. Plus, South Korea is starting to see a larger and larger user base playing it as well. I was first introduced to the game by checking out the website, Wargaming.net, and messing around a little bit, playing some artillery in the game itself. And later on, Samsung actually asked me to commentate for the World Cyber Games Grand Finals in Kushan, China. 2012, I was able to commentate with Ron Rambo Kim, and it was a phenomenal event. Got to meet a lot of the players, especially from Fulcrum Gaming, where two members from Fulcrum will be joining me today to go over World of Tanks and to give some tips to some new players. Now, the history of World of Tanks is really, really important because freemium is a new type of model that different games like League of Legends have become very, very successful on. And this model allows players to be able to introduce themselves to the game at no cost themselves. All they need is a computer and an internet connection. And two gentlemen today are going to join me to talk about the theme, the World War II theme of the game, the gameplay itself, tips for new players, the world of esports, and we're going to play a couple games ourselves to show you guys how much fun this game is. They are from Fulcrum Gaming, James Relic Star and David Nagatron Williams. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Hey, thanks, thanks for having us. us. Now, James, you're coming out of Colorado. David, you're coming out of Texas. You guys have been gamers for a while. What sort of set you in motion to discover the game of World of Tanks and how long you've been playing and what's your history with the game? James, we'll start with you. All right. Um, I, I actually have been a part of a, a fan community called BoarsWords.com for a long time, back when we used to play uh, Dark Age of Camelot. That was my, my big PvP game. Kind of gets me in the, the competitive mood early on. Um, and so on, on those boards, we were always posting like what new games we were playing and everything. And someone posts about World of Tanks, and uh, it was still in beta at the time. So I jumped on that and uh, got hooked pretty early on in the beta. Um, and I played it for oh, probably like three or four months. Uh, quit for a little bit because I knew I was going to be crazy addicted to the game. And uh, then later came back on with uh, Nagatron. So uh, it's probably been about what, two years now that I've been playing World of Tanks now? So, good time the whole way through. A little bit longer than that if you include beta. Yeah, that's uh, true. For me, I actually discovered it through James here. Um, I've always played a whole lot of FPS and whatnot, and we were playing Battlefield, and we had pretty much worked through every type of vehicle, every type of class. And the only thing we had left was tanks, uh, so we started playing a, a tank duo and doing really well at it. And at one point... Um, James just mentions, well, you know there's a game that's only tanks, right? And he mentioned World of Tanks, and at the time, the name didn't really uh, make me think of, of what the game really is. You know, they built it as an MMO, and they called it World of Tanks. So I just sort of just envisioned World of Warcraft questing in tanks, uh, and that's not what it is. It's, it's mostly World War II tanks and a, a couple tanks after that. So as soon as he told me that, I was like, well, let's go play. And uh, I think that was about two years ago now. Well, it's quite different from World of Warcraft because there's no questing. <laughs> you don't have to go on a quest <laughs> with any of the tanks. It is pure PvP combat. You join a game, you're up against other individuals, and you are you know, fighting until every tank is destroyed or you capture the enemy base. Now, the World War II theme I find very, very important here because us as gamers grew up with this being very heavily influenced in our culture, in media, such as films with uh, Saving Private Ryan and how that spilled into the video game department with DreamWorks and Medal of Honor and recreating that landing at Normandy, the, the Normandy invasion or Operation Market Garden and being there firsthand and those experiences that those uh, soldiers went through was really, really 
fascinating to me as, as a young gamer. And it was a whole new storytelling tool for many people to experience what this war was like, what these stories were like. And, you know, games like Medal of Honor brought this storytelling and heroism into an FPS. And what World of Tanks does is it incorporates real warfare from our world's past. So this, you know, these are real tanks that really existed either in full production models or they were prototypes. Some tanks were even just uh, on the blueprint phases and the planning phases were never really released. But they all stem from truth, really, in, in our uh, country or in our world's warfare tactics, strategies, and engineering. And it actually allows me and other gamers to have a greater appreciation for tank history, for tank engineering, and for combat strategy itself. Because knowing the ins and outs of the tanks, the different uh, assets the tanks have, the type of armor, the type of turrets, the different customization you can have on the tank, I find really fascinating. And it really gets you into this type of warfare that was so prevalent back in the 1940s, a big piece of our history. But hey, we're not here to take a huge history lesson. This isn't college, guys. This is World of Tanks. And when it comes down to it, it is a video game. So we're going to talk about the gameplay.